Anytime you start putting up teams and put snubs around them, you have to take somebody out. So out of that group you just saw that didn't get in, St. Mary's, Colorado, Virginia Tech, Alabama, B.C., who do you think Digger should have been in at whose expense? Well, I really think when we're talking about VCU and what went on there in their scenario, Colorado, to me, is still a mystery. They played their best in the Big 12. They swept Kansas State three times. Kansas State's got a chance to get to the Final Four. And also, they knocked off when you look at Missouri. And for, when you take a look at how they played all year long, I thought that Colorado, to me, why are they so good? you got Corey Higgins, who's 6'4", they can play anywhere and make things happen on the perimeter. you got Alex Burke, who's capable of getting 30 against you in the paint. So they got the balance on offense and they got the balance on defense. Colorado shocks me, Hubert. Uh, against UAB and against VCU, all those teams have a better resume. Yeah. Then you can make a case for all those teams to replace UAB. I mentioned before, UAB, the second team out of Conference USA, play one ranked opponent, and that was Duke, and they lost. When you look at the remaining team, St. Mary, they beat St. John's and Gonzaga. Boston College played well in ACC, 0-3 versus UNC and Duke. But you look at Virginia Tech, this is a team that, that beat Duke, beat Penn State. Colorado beat four ranked opponents. They played eight ranked opponents and beat four of them. And then Alabama was number one in the SEC West. The thing they had to do was be above 500 in the SEC East and they were beating Kentucky and Tennessee, you can make a strong argument, eye test, RPI, strength of schedule, whatever, not the RPI, strength of schedule, but any way you look at it, those teams can make a case going in and ahead of UAB.